Greetings, dear ones. I have these questions coming on and often to me about how do I navigate through my life? And there is so much, and I do not know so much. There is so much outside there, and so much of luring wisdom or whatever that promises me to take me to where I am supposed to be, and yet I am confused and I do not know what will take me there. last life that i made on this sunday if you have attended you would understand that there is nothing nowhere to go there is nowhere to reach this is the mind's game that is constantly playing this game telling you that you need to go somewhere this is the mind mind is nothing but the ego because the ego has an identity the ego wants to prove something the ego wants to have this kind of accomplishment that i have accomplished i have reached somewhere i have taken myself somewhere that is why the mind always strives for some or the other kind of attention or some kind of justification to prove where have i reached and it is the same mind that will keep on questioning you have you reached somewhere where are you and it is the same mind that will tell you you are stuck stuck because the mind wants you to get up and do something for yourself and the same mind will do everything and then complain about nothing happening <laughs> it is same mind that might even sit down saying that this is not my cup of tea because it's too overwhelming why was it overwhelming it was all natural and calm but the same mind gave a kick saying that you got to do something now the same mind is complaining and whining and the same mind is sitting down and fretting and fuming and the same mind again same mind after all these events will sit down and justify <laughs> this thing happened because of so and so so and so and then it will try to do something else to justify that further can you see what what confusion that mind is all about this is constantly because the ego triggers the mind all the time to tell you that you are incomplete do something to make you complete the whole world is out there trying to prove it to people that you are incomplete because if i prove it to you that you are incomplete <laughs> i can give you solutions <laughs> so that's how the world works that's why i said simplicity is everything if you simplify your life and you simplify your spirituality you will see that there is actually nothing in spirituality there is so much of run around about so many things concepts and philosophies and theories and doings and doings and doing which will all make you only a doer on one hand we know that we shouldn't be the doer we should give up this doership surrender the doership to the higher powers whatever that power you believe in but on the other end uh, other end you cannot surrender it because surrendering your doership means surrendering the ego who's the doer it's the ego self the i the personality the one with some identification that i have i have accomplished this or i am so and so i am this achiever or i am a non achiever now let me become an achiever so the doer the doer is the one who try, tries to take the reins in the hand and then navigate through this life like a superhero all the world systems out there will try to make you a superhero will tell you you are not less than a superhero get up and do this do that you know, become something prove it out to the world that you are it you are not less that's your success and then we are all we all want validation for that success and that's why we go out and try to do so many things unfortunately this has seeped into spirituality also spirituality it should have been the other way it is the opposite of this doership it is to give up the doership it is to shun all these so kind of running behind to achieve something accomplish something including self realization we see that we run for self realization there is a rat race again <laughs> because again just like the worldly competition if there are a group of seekers who are all wanting to get self realized then there will be jealousy and competition amongst each other even if one is getting realized or somewhere even close to enlightenment the other will try to pull that person down because it's a rat race so you can see how confusing this thing is can anyone go to that state of realization with the ego can anyone go with the 
competition attitude there these are all the lower mucks these are all the negative qualities which will not take you upward but downward but then the world proves it to you know you can go there so it's a confusion out there so what i suggest is still down the whole secret that i'm telling you is about your mind if you know your mind if you know this culprit what i'm talking in this video how the mind manipulates you to make you believe in a certain way that you are the doer and if you see you just sit down right now right now just after this video and contemplate for 2 minutes and see there will be doership in whatever you have done till now there has to be doership even if we say there shouldn't be doership you just contemplate on this awareness and see there is all doing and doing and doing only and this that that doing that takes us nowhere that keeps us confused because the achiever mode we are in the achiever mode there is nothing to achieve in spirituality please you can achieve in the gross world there is nothing to achieve here we are here to lose all those identities it is not achieving it's the opposite of it and when you go to the opposite by reversing the process of nullifying everything then you can say you have achieved that nothingness which also i still wouldn't you use the vocabulary achieved it's wrong to use that or attained that enlightenment you don't enlight you don't attain it this is what every all the great mystics have said you are that already there is only a layer around you that is preventing you from seeing that so you look at that layer and dissolve that layer you cannot look at that layer by being in the layer i mean to say you cannot look at the layer by being in your mind because that layer is all in the mind itself so we attempt to do the doership is from the mind the doer has to first think and to do something to get into doership he or she has to operate the mind and that is doership and by doing and by thinking or by being in that space of the mind you cannot see what is right and wrong you cannot discriminate it is just like swimming in the pool of ego you want to get out of it or kill the ego you can't you are you will get drowned in it so the secret is to rise above the mind dear ones how do you rise above the mind by using this tool of consciousness awareness awareness is beyond the mind awareness does not operate in the mind awareness is the one who watches the mind by being separate from it by higher from it so the more you are up above the mind you are able to see all this right now i am speaking from awareness because that state you can see all this hot spots that's going on if you are in the doership mode you are in the mind mode you cannot see by drowning there so if you want to see out of doership then you just got to shift into awareness by shifting into awareness you are moving to that space where you still everything suddenly you become still you must have seen in all my live sessions people go into that kind of stillness why because they practicing aware we are all practicing awareness there is no need to tell anybody to do something or don't do anything it just happens i never give anybody a command to watch your breath or watch your body or your sitting posture or i i don't even tell them still yourself or still your body straighten your body pull up your spine keep your head straight close your eyes i never we say all this or keep in a resting position relax your shoulder nothing no command is given because all this command is always given to the mind and the mind becomes the doer and the doer starts doing or undoing all these things so that's again going through that route of doership whereas in shifting into awareness you are seeing while you are in the session we just float the just shift into that awareness and automatically all these things start doing itself automatically by being awareness by being that space in that space you see that automatically everything still stop the mind still stop the body is still stop even no need to tell your eyes to close it will just automatically close up that's that space of awareness where nothing is done there is no doership that's your consciousness so if you get that right most of your issues will start dissolving because we are constantly operating from the doership mode we are stuck in that and we are seeking solution also from the doership mode i offer solutions only from the awareness point of view 
that is what i do in my personal consultations also where you you can see you sit together and we are a floating it's it's not very it's not only just in personal sessions that i do specially i've done this always in my live also i was mentioning in my live last time in thrunamalai i was talking about satchidananda not just just the definition of it but experientially what is that what is that space of sat chit ananda the being the existence having the consciousness the being is sat the existent the consciousness that is moving around that being through which that being is witnessing the whole uh, cosmos that through which it is witnessing is the consciousness which is chit and when these two are always together the bliss the ananda is experienced and two of them wrote to me one while having the live only said that she entered into such a space of blankness and stillness and uh, beautifying uh, bliss and there was no space for any 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 anything else to happen and that she penned down in a kind of poetry <laughs> that stillness and the other one said uh, he was doing some uh, hatha yoga and then was playing this video that live video of mine while the hatha yoga was going on and then she said suddenly everything just stopped and everything just nullified and she tears started flowing out of her eyes for 45 minutes she was in that space of stillness and she couldn't do anything she couldn't hear anything no activity just ceased and she couldn't continue after doing anything after that she just paused in that space and was blissed out for some time where it was a live video that i made from tirunamala hill you can go and look it look at it so it's not just in personal sessions it's it happens when you move into that space and especially when i am in that sacred space i i was already connected to that space and when you connected to that space i didn't do anything you just connected directly to that space because i was uh, enhancing that process and it just happened so you can see in that blissed out space what what was done there's no doership is just shifting into awareness just shifting into awareness a few people can catch that very well and i'm very happy very happy because that's how the shifting into awareness began it was my own experiences which i had in that uh, kalyan uh, bus station where i was blissed out for 45 minutes to an hour while i was reading malaleshwari's text and everything all my indriyas just shut out i was sitting in the bus stand and the whole bus noise and everything i could see everything but i couldn't move and tears were flowing and my shirt was wet tears were just flowing for almost one hour and i couldn't hear a single bus noise of the crowd but i could see the chaos moving this is when i started making videos on in every chaos there is a divine order it is you can't see that you can only see and experience that when you enter into that space so i was so happy because after that ma lalishwari's blessings and my gurudev's blessing i started shifting into awareness and started teaching the same awareness which i had that you know got it and i started telling people and sharing with people this is possible so simple and beautiful and the gift of the great masters and god himself and i was so happy when i saw that uh, the two people were affected by that uh, video from tirunal live which i made satchidananda and they entered into that space and that was exactly what i felt so i felt so blessed and grateful to the divine to my master to the guru, guru mandal everybody it's possible that just by sharing this kind of experiences and by helping each other move into that space we are helping and nurturing each other to enter into that real space where we can truly experience that and then catch on to that and that becomes your your guide that self that awareness becomes your guide so you list, you depend less and less on the world you depend less and less on the ego and the logic mind you less less depend on the mind and you depend more you tune in tune in more into your awareness so this is what we are uh, taking very seriously here uh, in the live sessions that i do and also i'm i'm trying to you know share those that wisdom here also and not just talk about it while i'm talking about it i'm trying to make you experience because that's that's the real thing when you experience only you can have a conviction of how these things happen so that then you can make your life easier by not putting so much into your head and you know worrying and tossing around 
uh, with all that all the solutions are within it starts opening up starts opening up the light through the light of awareness so i believe if you still have any um, thing trying to understand that you can take this personal consultation which i'm always offering and you can, I, i'll put up the testimonials of those people also because you'll come to know how how these things work where people have felt it's stuck and dead end and then suddenly boom something happens in that that something is not anybody who is doing it it is your own space perhaps you do not know how to enter that space that's all and simple simple ways you can do it so that's what we are trying to do here so i i i believe this video should help you to understand that everything is within you there is nothing to get too boggled and worried about how things are working out and how things are not working out by moving into this space you just start living in that space and things start unfolding to you in the right time there are a lot of changes that have happened in my life i'm sure there are new changes happening always in my life and i can see in the past few months also there have splendid new changes that have happened in my life new new shifts are happening new transformations happening new events and new arenas opening up all those things have changed my life and you know it's giving me completion i can tell you that also wherever i felt incomplete in certain areas of life i was just trusting this awareness to do that and i can see people walking in or the solutions walking in or things happening and you know uh, miraculous occasions happening and whatever is needed it's it's just coming it's just coming and i am not denying anything because it's a part of that experience which i came to experience here in the earth so whatever is happening i'm i'm embracing all that with a lot of gratitude that's what i also always suggest to you so whatever is remaining you you do not actually plan out for that you enter into that space and you know eventually in its own perfect time it shall start happening your intention should be only for your highest good that all that happens and for the highest good of all and everything shall happen hope this video helps you much divine love and light to you stay blessed